everybody. I am here at Casperson Beach on uh, Tuesday afternoon. Gulf of Mexico looking beautiful out there. It's late afternoon. I'm not going to paint right here on the beach right now. I am going to head back on these hiking trails back here and do something, maybe paint a uh, sable palm tree or something like that. Stay away from the crowds. Heading away from the beach. Walking back <clears throat> into some trails here. Okay, I've settled on this view right here. I like these cast shadows and the palm trees. So I'm set up in the shade here. A nine by 12. Have some fresh paint squeezed out and let's get to work. Okay, I've got it blocked in now. And change the camera so maybe get a better view of it. It's kind of hard to not get the exposure wrong with the bright sky behind it. So I did the best I could. And now it's time to start picking it apart here and make something out of it. <clears throat> now that I got all the shapes blocked in. Try not to kick the uh, tripod here. I got to have it uh, situated to get the angle of the camera. I pretty much have to have the tripod right where I'm standing. So you just don't know all the trouble I have to go to to make these videos. <laughs> all right. Let's see here. Let's. This is pretty much the center of interest, so I'm going to work there to get it closer to being resolved. And I can fiddle with other stuff. I hope this all makes sense. Um, I'm not a uh, <clears throat> professional instructor. There's a lot of really good uh, artists on YouTube sharing their skills and abilities. I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily one of them. Just doing my thing and hopefully inspires anybody to get out and paint. That's my main goal with this. It's just a big beautiful world out here. I want to try to see as much of it as I can and paint as much of it as I can and enjoy this life while I still got some time left on this planet. You know, like <clears throat> trying not to get, you know, simplification of shapes and about, you know, just you'll never be able to paint, especially in plein air, everything you see, all the any of the details and the light, but just Trying to get form and shape and structure to make an interesting painting. The light is so intense out here. And right now I'm using like, I'm using no, I mean, the only medium I carry with me is just a 
uh, Gamsol Mineral Spirits. Um, right now I'm just painting this tube consistency, you know, the paint straight out of the tube. I'm trying to like, I mean there's dark, that's the thing, is there's darks back here but they can't be as dark as up here. Right now I'm just kind of putting the darkest darks, I'll kick those back here in a minute. And I just want to get some of this background established. Sorry, I'm busy right now. You know, like all these little fronds and stuff that are in here, I don't have to paint all of it. You just give the indication of some and then <clears throat> our little brains get to, to do the fun part of like making something up out of everything that's there. You know, it's really cool right now looking at this, uh, this trunk out there. The sun is over here casting shadows this way but because of all this sand this white sand out here the reflected light back onto the trunk there's more light on this side of the trunk than over here so it's kind of counterintuitive you know if you would just say oh the sun's over there so this side of the tree would have to be the lightest side of the tree but we would be wrong That kind of crosshatch of, uh, <clears throat> I don't know what you would call it, the bark, it isn't really bark, it's just, I guess, where the, as that thing grows up, it has all these different, you know, directions of, but they end up looking crosshatched, so, trying to paint that without getting that value to jump out too much. Like I say, the dark side of the tree is over there. So, fun, fun. Yep, that's not what I wanted. Back to the drawing board. There we go. Just always remember to squint because, and especially like for me, my eyes are very light sensitive. <clears throat> I've said it before, but uh, when I look up and out there, it just kind of overwhelming. So squinting down, for one, helps reduce the glare of all the light that's out there. It helps me uh, see my values. And like I say, as far as all the detail stuff goes, there's nobody else here right now. No, nobody knows exact. I mean. They don't know, you know, your viewer isn't going to go, oh, you didn't put that exact little branch in or whatever, you know, so just talk to yourself and make yourself look crazy as you're standing here. <laughs> but what makes an interesting painting to, though, to me is like all these inner, the, you know, back and forth between light and dark and warm and cool. <clears throat> you know, and if people go, man, he's crazy. Man, you're an artist. You're supposed to be a little bit crazy. Just don't go full Van Gogh, all right? And uh, whenever you got any white, <clears throat> like, you know, understand that white, titanium white, is a cool, consider a cool color. So it will cool down. So you usually have to add some yellow. And also, white desaturates. So, 
good and bad. Using light to uh, get your values lighter. It was like on this scene, the sky is going to be the lightest value. The sand, the very, very close second to the sky. So I'm dragging that darker value against that previously painted sky. That way I hoped to have kept my sky clean. But I will still probably bring some of the sky back down after I do some of these. See, so yeah, I mean, it's so easy to pick up white and drag it into. I probably should have just scrape that out. I'm using a number two flat synthetic that uh, still has a little bit of life left in it. And I'm using it kind of as a chisel. I don't know if, I, I don't know if the camera is picking it up here, but I just load up the brush and then kind of shovel an edge paint on it just making some I mean there's just like all kinds of things laying on the ground here in the shadows so that previously painted shadow which you know, has changed since I first did it because well, you know, the sun moves and shadows move and I'm only human and I can only paint so fast, so. This is where you either just have a really great memory or just, you know, make something up. And just kind of like just dry brush and you can just you know do a little bit and look at it compare and if it jumps too much then you've probably done something wrong which I did just jump too much so I'm trying to push it back by uh, just darkening some things up I don't know, this may be one I'll give up on here because I've been going for, what time is it? Hour and ten minutes. You know, just get it as far as I... Oh, and I'm right next to the home oh, here, a boat. Boats out there. I'm on the, the Gulf of Mexico is right there, and the intercoastal waterway is just over my right shoulder. So, kind of a cool spot to be. It's like purpley. Some purpley looking bits. Most cool sometimes is that something over there work over here just to unify some of the color and value. Little bits peeking through. Push that up. So they're trying to paint individual fronds. Let the brush do the work. That's why I kind of held that back there. So I'll put some of the shadow 
There's some light coming in it. A little too much. It's where you get the finger paint. Some kind of grasses. <clears throat> Lost control of the brush there a little bit. like some of this <clears throat> light that's peeking through back here I'm not painting it with the same value and color that I used out here because as it's the lights coming through that foliage it kind of gets interacts with this what's going in there so it picks up some of that color changes the way it looks and Obviously, the it's not as direct light, so but don't quote me on anything. <laughs> okay, here's my mess. My little footprint that I leave when I'm out here. The tripod I was using painting and palette the scene over there that's totally changed now with the shadows and the light has changed in over the roughly two hours here's what I've got 9 by 12 I made I mean this is this is obviously probably what I'm gonna do some tweaks to when I get it home in the studio mm -hmm. 